Hello, welcome or welcome back to TSC Talks, the podcast where we talk about tuberous sclerosis complex and other related issues such as intellectual and developmental disabilities and autism. My name is Jill Woodworth and I am your host. Thanks for tuning in. On today's quickie episode, I have a young man, Max Piltz. He is the son of Adriana Piltz, who is the founder and CEO of Nikki's Gardens of Hope. And Max is here to talk about living with someone with an intellectual and developmental disability. His brother, Nikki, is severely impacted by TSC and the inspiration for Nikki's Gardens of Hope. So I'm not going to keep talking. Max shares his thoughts on living with Nikki and thoughts on life and starting a YouTube channel where he would interview other siblings with similar in similar situations. So without further ado, thanks for being on, Max, and take it away. What's your name? My name is Max. How old are you, Max? I'm seven. What kind of things do you like to, would you like to talk about on your YouTube channel that you're going to do? I like ninja stuff. (laughs) I'm a ninja. Well, can I ask a question? How many brothers do you have? Three. How many brothers do you have? Wait, because one is me, one is Alice. You count yourself. No. Well, you're not counting yourself. You're not the brother. You are you. Okay. So you have a, how many? Two. Brothers? Yes. And who are they? Um, Nikki and Alex. And who is Nikki? Nikki's my big brother. How old is Nikki? Twenty. How is living with Nikki? Mm, terrible. <laughs> Why? He, he, he screams a lot and he bothers us. How does he bother you? Well, he always screams when I'm doing something. Like you're doing what? Like sometimes when I'm drawing a picture, sometimes when I'm on your phone because you let me. Thank you. Now I have another question. Okay. What do you think how would it be to go with Nikki to the restaurant? I think that's a bad idea. Why do you think it's a bad idea? Because Nikki doesn't know how to grab and Nikki is like gonna spill all the food. Really? Yep. Now, if Nikki cries, or make Nikki screams pretty much, who can calm him down? Uh... Who talks to him? Oh, Grandma. And who else? Daddy. And? Oh, me. And how are you talking to Nikki? Mm, normal way. Which is normal way? What do you tell Nikki all the time? Um, I f- forgot. You forgot? Mm. Who? Do you feed Nikki? I saw a picture. A little bit. Yeah. Do you play with Nikki? Yeah. How do you play with Nikki? Well, I give him some toys to play with. And you give him also water, right? Yep. And do you think that everybody has somebody like Nikki? Not everybody. No. But a lot of people do? No, not a lot, just few. Just few? Do you think it's easy to live with Nikki? No. No? No. But you love Nikki? You love him very much, right? It's not his fault. Yep. It just happened. It just, it just, um, I cannot talk because I'm a god and I cannot talk. Yes. You're right there. That's awesome. I bet you're a wonderful brother. Yeah, I know, I know, um, like, um, a lot of stuff. I know you do. <laughs> and my mom's name is Adriana, my dad's name is Victor, my, my big brother's name is Nikki, and my brother's name is... Um, Alex, and my aunt name is Empty Sharon, and my uncle's name is <laughs> Uncle Joe, and um, and my two favorite persons is Adriana, Aww. Aww. Daddy, uh-huh. his name is Victor, and 
Gia and Theron and also um, Uncle Joan and Auntie Sharon and my brother Alex. It doesn't matter if he hurts me. And I also love my big brother. You love your big brother, Aww. Nikki? Yep. What would you wish for Nikki? Um, I wish he can talk. And it, yeah. and I wish um he had a very good heart. I think Nikki has a good heart. And um and he knows how to talk. He knows can you understand some of the stuff that you just maybe you can't understand his words? But I understand his words, every word he says. You do. Yep. Like what? Like if he wants to go in the bathroom, if he wants food. Well, what if he wants to go to the bathroom? What does he do? Um, yell so much. I know. <laughs> and if he wants to eat, what he does? He does yell a little bit. <laughs> he and, does play and he brings his head and goes on the floor. Yeah, he does. So you you know his routine. Yep. That's really cool. Cause yeah. I bet you help. Yeah, I like to help you a lot. I can tell. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A uh, doctor. What well, kind of doctor? Really I, uh, I think I want to be an animal doctor. Animal? What happened oh, to the nervous goodness. surgeon? Well, I don't want to be anymore. Oh, you want to be a vet? That's what you want to be. Yeah. Why do you want to be a nervous surgeon anymore? Well, because I know that um, being a, a pet surgeon um, is actually better because having pets are very important. Yes, but also helping people are very important. People like Nikki is very important, isn't it? Yep. Well, whatever makes you happy, right? Yep. We just want people to be happy. Yep, because what about if the dogs don't feel good and they and they have to go to the hospital because he has a virus, if a pet has a virus, and they have to go to the doctor. And then they're gonna go to a doctor like you then. Yep. Well, you have a really kind heart. Yeah, I love people. Do you? I can tell. Aww. Um. So, are we doing the? T are we done doing the test? Yeah, we can. We can be done. You done? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for talking to me.